Hey, what's up guys, it's Gage from Energy, and let's talk about this brand new Cosmo support, which was actually announced on the official Konami page. I can't exactly pull up the link right now, I don't know why, I'm just having some troubles. But, uh, this is on the organization, and it's actually from the official Konami blog, and it's brand new Cosmo support to be released in Dimension of Chaos November 6th, which is not far away at all, and a lot of people have already caught wind of just how ridiculous this support is. So, I'm gonna read over it, and we're gonna exactly talk why this is... Just some damn really good support, and why farm goals are pretty much like damn near $100. I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own, but if you need help, I'll explain it to you guys. So, we see Cosmol Wicked Witch, which is a level 4 dark psychic type effect monster. Uh, this is kind of going with the, the Wizard of Oz and the Star Wars kind of mix there. It actually looks really cool. This is like Darth Maul. I think that's really sick. The artwork looks badass, even though I can't pull it up. I'll try to pull up it as close as I can over on the side there, but what you can see... This chick's pretty badass, man. But we have a level 4 dark psych hip type effect monster. 1900 attack, 300 defense. During either player's turn, you can manage this card, special summon one level 5 or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Cosmol Wicked Witch once per turn. And once per turn, during either player's turn, you can pay 1000 life points. This turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. So, this card here is pretty sweet if you ask me. Uh... Pretty much, it's like the counterpart to that of uh, Cosmo Goodwitch. It's Cosmo Goodwitch, excuse me. Uh, and there's some different applications that it could use, and I think it could actually potentially be better than just Goodwitch. Uh, of course, you can't really compare the two effects to each other. They both do very different things. But I think Cosmo Wicked Witch has a little bit of the upper hand just by the uh, amount of things you can add to it on the other hand. So we have it being a dark attribute. You can use a card like a Lore of Darkness with this, which is something I said originally when I first reviewed this card back on my my other channel. Uh, using an Allure of Darkness with this, you can banish it and then just immediately bat add it back to your hand with Cosmo Town. So you literally lose no advantage and you just get a free plus two. That's that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Like I don't see how that's not good. So that's pretty cool. But then on the other hand, being able to pay a thousand life points to make the card impervious to battle or by card effects. It's pretty sweet, too. Now, I don't know if this is more applicable than the Book of Moon effect of the Good Witch, which I think more people might levitate towards that. I mean, the trade-off between the extra, like, what, 200 attack, 100 attack on the Cosmo Wicked Witch, and, of course, the synergy with the Lore of Darkness. I don't think it'll be enough to exactly pay off to make this card significantly better than Good Witch, but it is still something to look at. Now... Well, I see, I think we'll see actually maybe both of them played, just because the only ones we really have to work with the ships are Farm Girl and Good Witch. And there's just so many ships that just keep getting released. We have Slip Rider, Forerunner, and we actually have this new one here, which we're going to go over, which is absolutely ridiculous. And it actually, I guess, is the counterpart to the Wicked Witch. It's the Ship for Wicked Witch. So let's go through it. It's Cosmo Dark Destroyer, level 8 Dark Machine type effect monster. 3,000 attack, 1,800 defense. This card is normal or special summon. You can target one monster on the field, destroy it. This card cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects. This card is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one 7 or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. This card is absolutely insane like I, there's no other way i can put this this card is ridiculous from its stat line of a 3000 base which is massive bigger than forerunner by i think like 200 points it's still impervious to being targeted by card effects just like forerunner which is really the main thing that brought forerunner to be really difficult to get around not only a 2800 body but your opponent just can't target it this is a 3000 body that your opponent can't target and then, guess what? If this thing dies, you can just bring out a Forerunner. So if they spend all their resources, their non-targeting resources, to get rid of the Dark Destroyer, now they have to spend more non-targeting resources that they may not even have to try to get rid of the Forerunner that just poops out of this thing. So I think you guys better have your Iron Rolls ready, because if you don't, these Cosmos are just going to come at you like a train. It's ridiculous. Being able to pop a monster, too. That's like not even like... that. That's... Probably actually just ties the whole card together to make this card absolutely insane. I'm surprised this card's gonna be a rare. If it's a secret rare, I will not be surprised. But it being a rare like all the other ships, this card's ridiculous. Like, okay, I guess Slip Rider popping a back row is pretty neat. But from its mediocre stat line and just this mediocre level and the, its mediocre effect overall, when you banish it, you're only able to bring out a lower one. People kind of like, eh, you know, whatever, it's whatever. But this is a massive one that pops a monster, then brings out a Forerunner, which gains you life points, which then brings out the Slip Rider on its own. So you're getting at least three, four cars off of one banish of one of these little dudes here. That's absolutely insane, if you ask me. And 
I feel like if your opponent doesn't have the answer, they're going to be in a really tough matchup. So these cards are going to definitely be shaking up the meta. Absolutely. I can I can absolutely see. I always see uh, Cosmo Farm Girls at least $100 now. Uh, somewhere around there, I might be a little bit off, maybe like 90s. But it's at a hyped price, and it's actually justifiable hype because this deck is going to be absolutely obliterating a whole bunch of things that we already know. And of course, the only ultra rare being farm girl really makes this thing, this deck, difficult to pick up. Which is a shame because all the ships, with the, the very good ships, are rares. It's a little awkward, but hey, it is what it is. I'm glad we're getting a reprint of um, Emergency Teleport. We already had a reprint of Emergency Teleport. But um, yeah. It's going to still be pretty difficult to get up. If you guys didn't have your farm girls, I feel really bad for you guys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this brand new Cosmo support. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It's absurd. And I love it. <laughs> I wish I had the deck. Uh, I don't have it now. And I'm not going to buy it at the end of hype prices. Just not going to do that. So let me know what you guys think down below of these cards. And if you guys want to buy or sell product, if you want to attend live events, or if you want to read articles from the toppest of top of players, all three out of games.com is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Gage from Energy, signing out.